new exercise of sheet metal in solid box so here we will learn some basic sheet metal features so let's start with all dimensions are in millimeter all corner radius are 2 millimeter material thickness 2 millimeter okay now here we have few now if you see this flattened view there is one bending table also see let's say this bend bend 4 you will see down 90 degree radius inner radius 2 millimeter so with the help of this bending table you can decide which bends are there okay let's check the R view see this is the R view you will see here distance from outside to outside 50 millimeter now this 50 millimeter these bend dimension see thickness inside okay and the width of this you will see here 35 millimeter inside view thickness 2 millimeter radius 2 millimeter so let's do this so front plane is suitable for us before going to choose front plane right click on any tabs go to tabs option and activate sheet metal tab okay front plane sketch now activate line tool I want to keep my geometry symmetric and uh, at center so let me draw one geometry something like this okay let's select these two lines equal relation hold shift key hold hold press these two points and line click mid smart dimension 50 millimeter this is also 50 millimeter you will see this is fully defined this sketch go to sheet metal and activate base flange tab okay here we go now we did not apply any sheet material so we, we are not going to activate this now direction one see this is moving in one direction but I am going to keep mid plane I want to move material both side equally 35 is width according to drawing now I don't want to use any gauge I have simple material thickness 2 millimeter uh, 1 millimeter now let me check front view okay the material thickness inside so we don't need to choose anything radius also 2 millimeter bending allowance k factor is standard 0.5 millimeter 0.5 I'm going to keep as it is and auto relief I'm going to change letter say okay now do one thing edit appearance okay that's look better now you will see there is a bend at this point bending number 5 and 6 5 and 6 90 degree 2 millimeter radius this is upside bend now if we check this bend i am talking about this bend 15 millimeter excluding material thickness see here material thickness shows inside so if you include material thickness this bend should be 16 millimeter so 16 plus 10 it's going to be over here overall length mention 5 okay that's 31 total then we will add this tab or this flange 5 millimeter radius outer radius diameter 5 millimeter hole and this 10 millimeter away from here 17.5 just located at center okay now activate edge flange now i'm going to select this edge and with the help of mouse you can drag anywhere i am going to place here just rotate and select the other side now radius by default 2 millimeter angle 90 degree exactly we need now blind end condition 16 millimeter including thickness if you are going to say check with this view see virtual sharp the, th uh, the material going to count from this end and material should be inside we don't need to put any customer 
कस्ट रिलीफ टाइप से ओके सेलेक्ट दिस फेस स्केच एक्टिवेट लाइन टूल Now go back to the point and the see the line going to convert into arc. Draw one half and close, create a close profile. Right click or escape key to out. Make few important relation. Hold shift key and center point horizontal. A smart dimension. Now this radius five millimeter. Now this distance ten millimeter exactly. Okay. Now this is seems fully defined sketch. Now again activate base flange tab. Now you will see we are not able to change thickness because merge result activated. You can make reverse symmetric. Symmetric means both side equally distributed. But this is enough. Say okay. simple hole press this now start can plane we will keep same end condition or direction one blind diameter 5 mm okay link to thickness means is going to cut up to thickness of material say okay but we need to define the location so drop down and you will see sketch edit sketch hold shift key select circle and outer circle and make relation concentric okay now see this is fully defined exit now go to feature activate mirror reference plane right plane is perfect now feature to mirror from here you can choose tab hole in options you can see partial view or full preview whatever you like partial view is enough here we go if you check select this edge and see here you will see 10 mm length it shows that's we i want to keep evaluate measure now select this face and this face now look normal distance this is the normal distance outside to outside 16 mm perfect now here one more 10 mm 5 and 10 same thing and here you will see there is a custom cut relief see 1 mm and this length 4 mm this is actually not 4 mm while you are putting dimension i i will show you this is included with thickness and here bending radius also so bending radius is 2 mm so 1 2 plus 1 is going to be 4 mm so how you will apply we will see this is located at center okay and there is one hole 25 70 at the center of this 2 mm two number of holes edge flange now i am going to select this drag okay now here choose edit flange this is important now drag this activate three point arc and i am going to make a half circle it should be half circle skip key to out select this inside line make construction so that you will get full geometry A smart dimension 10 okay and uh, okay let's apply few more thing still drawing is under define Okay, this radius is not defined. Five millimeter. Even though we we will add hole here, or hole we will add later. Back. Now I will show you custom relief hole. Now 
Now here angle we will keep same. Material inside flange position. We don't need to apply flange length because we already applied our own custom dimension. Activate custom relief type. Rectangle. Uncheck this use relief. Now here one millimeter is the width. See this width, and this width also one millimeter. Now look. Total is going to be four millimeter. Say okay. See, if I am going to select this length, you will see at bottom four millimeter. If you see this one one millimeter, and this is the what dimension we put one millimeter. So you have to apply one millimeter, but while in drawing you have to count this radius two millimeter and one millimeter this thickness. So total four millimeter. Okay. Let's apply simple hole. Link to thickness five millimeter. Keep end condition blind. Keep as it is. Activate edit sketch, and here apply. Hold Shift key, select this circle and outer circle, and leave Shift key, and you will see this pop up. Make co-centric. You will see now this is fully defined this sketch. Okay. Now let's mirror this. Reference of front plane feature to mirror. Choose from here, including hole. Partial preview. Select this face. Sketch. Activate circle. Smart dimension. Now this is ten millimeter. And distance from here to here is going to be thirty-five divided by two. And this is from outside. Fifty divided by two. Twenty-five. Now go to again sheet metal and here activate extruded cut feature. And this time I am going to select up to surface. Select this surface. Say OK. Here we go. Flatten. And you will see. Right click. Export to DXF or even you can choose export to DXF from here. Okay, let's save part two. Now select sheet metal, hidden line, bend line, sketches, library forming tool. We don't have bounding box. Okay, let's see bounding box. Okay. Now this is your drawing ready. You can. send this drawing for water jet cutting or for laser cutting anything just simply save don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid box thanks for watching